Good morning everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Now it's actually been a while since I have done a vlog. Um, it's been a good couple of weeks. It was Paris Fashion Week um, last week or the week before and so I've been doing sort of lots of fashion content on that and I've really enjoyed doing that so it's meant that I haven't really done an awful lot of vlogging but I am pleased to be back to it today. So it's Friday, I'm just sitting outside the studio. I'm going to go in in a moment and teach a couple of classes and then I've got the rest of the day free. Jamie is actually off work today as well so we're gonna head I think into a town that's not too far from us. They have some really really beautiful independent shops in this town that have lovely kind of gifts and just beautiful be beautiful things and things that are a little bit more unusual in these shops. So we're gonna head into there and possibly do a little bit of Christmas shopping. I know I'm saying the word it's Christmas but um I like to get it done early and I really enjoy the festivities of December so I do like to be prepared and organised and as I said this place is just perfect for doing that so I'm looking forward to doing that this afternoon. I will of course bring you guys along with us. Um, I have also got a Dior unboxing to do with you. It is my first pair of Dior shoes and I could not be more excited to get into them. I'm hoping that they are going to be really quite something. So um, I will unbox all those with you later on as well. And yeah, I'm not sure what else we're gonna get up to over the weekend, but whatever we do, I will of course bring you guys with us. So I'm gonna head in, I'm gonna teach a couple of classes and then I will catch up with you guys when I'm done. Ooh. Okay, just got back and got changed and we are ready to head out. I'm just wearing my Serafina London dress, I've just put my little Dior waist belt on, biker jacket, and then we're gonna go for the Chanel today. And then we are going to head out and do a spot of shopping. So we just pulled up and first stop is going to be lunch because we are both absolutely starving. First couple of purchases. Jamie looks thrilled about it. He's carrying the bags. <laughs> it's lovely shopping with me, isn't it, babe? So we're just going to the farm shop. We thought we'd pop in on the way back. Jamie was here earlier with Betty, got us some ice cream. <laughs> um, and he said they had lots of Halloween stuff, so we thought we'd pop in and have a little look. Upstairs singing Christmas songs. <laughs> Look at her looking for him. She's looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, I think that was quite successful. We've got four bags filled with goodies. I will get into those with you a little bit later. And then I picked up these beautiful flowers from the farm shop. I mean, just my goodness, how stunning are they? I love the flowers at the farm shop because you get really different things in them and just really kind of rustic looking flowers. So I'm going to get these into a vase now and I think a lot of these will dry out beautifully. I know that these um, will, I can't think what they're called, but they do dry out really well. Actually, I've got them in my dried arrangement here. Um, I love that little arrangement in the kitchen. It looks gorgeous. But I think that these will also dry out nicely. I think pretty much all of it will. So... Um, that will last me a long, long time, hopefully. Right, let's get them in some water. I've had to put the lights on because it's so dark in here. How depressing is that? But I have found some um, old Freddy's Flowers flower food, so I'm gonna pop that in to my vase and arrange the flowers.
Now that is how I like my flowers, wild and wonderful. Just look at that arrangement. I love the different heights, the different textures. I love the, I think this is like wheat grass or something. It's beautiful. And I just love the effect that it gives to the whole bouquet. But how gorgeous is that? That is gonna make me happy for the next week. Honestly, you know how much I love fresh flowers. I just, I can't even, I love this arrangement. It's truly beautiful. Ooh. Good morning everyone. It is a couple of days later. It is now Sunday morning and I'm just sitting down in my dressing room because I want to go over all of the bits that I um, picked up on Friday in Midhurst and unbox those with you. And of course we have got a deal unboxing to get into which I am beyond excited about. You have no idea how hard it has been for me to wait to get into this box with you guys but I'm actually going to wait a little bit longer and I'm going to show you all the bits that I got from Midhurst first and then we will get into the deal unboxing after that so I'm just being very mean and making you guys wait. Very excited though, I think that they're going to be absolutely gorgeous so I can't wait to get into that. Um, today I think we're going to head to Storrington which is eh, not too far from us. Um, they've got really beautiful tea room there called Joanna's, is it Joanna's Boutique or Joanna's Tea Room? One of them. It is so nice in there so we're going to go and maybe pick up a cake and have a coffee or something like that there and have a little wander around Storrington as well. It's a really lovely village with some really nice little shops in too. So Without further ado, let's get into the bits that I picked up. How cute is this little bow they popped on it? Um, yes, uh, no, not yesterday, Friday in Midhurst. Now, I did get quite a lot and made quite a dent into my Christmas shopping. Now, I can't remember what's in what bag, so it's all going to be a little bit of a surprise, I think. They've wrapped them up so beautifully in tissue paper. It's almost a shame to, um, to unbox and undo them, but I do want to show you. Ah. So this is, hold on, there's another bit to that in here. This is a candle. Now I'm really hoping that my friends and family aren't gonna watch this video because I'm gonna show you what I've picked them up for Christmas, but hopefully they won't. I might just have to tell them not to or to skip this bit. But first and foremost, most, I have got this beautiful candle. It's got this gorgeous little bee on top. The colours I think are absolutely gorgeous. It's almost like a bronze gold and then a wooden lid top. Smells lovely. Oh, that's a really nice smell actually. And then you've got the candle inside. Now this is for um, one of my friends. She um, has bees. Um, you've met her before, Frankie, she's my best friend. Um, and, um, and I just thought that she would really like that and it would look really nice in her home. So that's the first thing that I picked up. All of these few bits are from the same store. It's called Alchemy. Um, if I can leave a link to a website or something down below, I will do, but often these, Smaller shops don't have websites, so um, maybe they have an Instagram page or something that I can show you. Um, this is a little sort of soap cluster um, that you can put in your drawers, um, in your wardrobe, in your room, and it just has this most wonderful fragrance. And I'm not sure who this is gonna go to yet, but I just thought it was a very nice, cute little gift. And then this is a vase, I believe. They have just such beautiful little homeware gifts in this little place, honestly, really gorgeous. Oh, she's popped some bubble wrap on that, which is very nice. This is my friend Tony. she will really love this. It will go with the colour scheme in her home at all. It's coming up quite whitish grey, but it's actually almost like a bluey grey in real life, but real, real life rather. But um, I thought that was really nice, I love all the detail on it and yeah. The trouble with this, this is that I buy presents, but actually I love them myself and part of me would quite like to keep them, but um, I can't, so uh, I do give them away. Okay, again, another candle this is, I think. Yes, this is beautiful. Okay, so this is a really lovely pillar candle um, and it's got apples all inside. It smells lovely. I'm not sure I would bother lighting it, though, to be honest, because it's just gorgeous and just lovely to put on the side in your house is just a little feature I think it's absolutely gorgeous um yeah I love that and I think that will probably also go to my friend Tony then we have got now I am gonna I've got two of these one of them is going to be um a present for my sister and the other one I'm going to keep because I liked it so much so I will show you the one 
that I am going to keep because that doesn't matter. But again, she's just wrapped it so beautifully that uh, although I will have to unwrap it because it is going to need batteries in it, so I will have to unwrap my sister's one, but um, I'm just going to have to try and wrap it up just as beautifully as they have. And it's just this really gorgeous, almost like a, it's almost like a milk bottle, like a big one, but it's it's not, I'm not sure. Or maybe like an apothecary bottle. It's got a cork in the top of it. And I don't know if it's going to show up quite on um, camera, but it's got really beautiful dried flowers in. And then it has got some lights in there as well. So in a moment, I will pop downstairs and get some batteries because I think we've got the little round batteries. I'm pretty sure we've got some in the cupboard downstairs. So I will show you that lit up as well. But how lovely is that just to pop on the window seal or on the cabinet or somewhere in your house? I just think it's so beautiful and just a little bit different and a little bit unique. I was thinking about doing a Christmas gift guide. I don't know whether you guys would be interested in that if I was to do that at all. Um, but I was thinking maybe I could um, do that for a little bit closer to Christmas. Okay, last but not least. Now, I am only going to show you one of these. This I am very excited about um so it's three different parts now again i have bought myself one so i'm gonna try to yeah that's one for me um, i'm gonna try to just open my one and then i can actually demonstrate it to you so the first part is a little bottle very sweet little bottle there. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. I love the diamonds on it, but they did have all different ones and I have got all different ones, but I want to keep this one personally. The next step is some aromatherapy oil. Now this is um, 50 ml reed diffuser. Hold on, what scent is it? Black Oud. And I smelt them all and I absolutely loved this one. So you pour this into this to make yourself a little reed diffuser. And then inside these boxes are the most wonderful flowers. Now I'm just gonna try and find my one. There you go, she did put a red cross on it to remind me which one is mine. So they had all different flowers and they are little paper flowers. So I picked this one for me. How gorgeous is that? And you basically, it's got wire in the rope, you straighten it down and you pop that into your bottle with the um, oils and it is a little mini diffuser, but so different and so beautiful. I did hold on, take a picture because there was a little bit of um, wording with it. Hold on, it's on my phone. Um, let me just read it out to you because I believe that the um, flowers end up going transparent and um, I just thought it was great. So, flower, diffuser, flower diffusers use instead of reeds. As an alternative to diffuser, diffuser reeds, these flowers work as the perfect room diffuser by pulling scent up the wick into the flower head which then evaporates out through the petals into the atmosphere like a real flower. Made from natural materials totally by hand, the flower head will open up and bloom out slightly over time. As it absorbs the fragrance into the petals, the flower will become translucent and change colour to darken due to the ingredients in the liquid used. If you touch the flower petals, the fragrance will transfer to your hands, so please wash it off if it touches your skin. Glass bottles and diffuser oils are available to buy separately. But I just, honestly, I just thought, I'm actually going to bend that over just slightly, so it sits at an angle. What a gorgeous gift that is. So I have got, so I've got one for me. I have got one for my friend Tony. So we've got a beautiful rose for her, although I'm not sure whether necessarily she'll have the rose or not. I just picked a selection of the flowers. Um, we have got a peony, absolutely beautiful. When that opens up, that will be gorgeous. And I think it's another peony. I think I've got two peonies, a rose, and I think this is gar Gardenia. I think this one is, but I'm pretty sure this last one is also a peony. Now, Tony, my friend, her favorite flower is a peony, so she'll definitely be getting a peony. Um, and um, yes, and maybe I'll give Frankie the rose and um, one of my um, other friends will take the other one. So I just, I think it's absolutely gorgeous and so, so different and so unique. And I just, I loved it. So 
If I can find something similar, link down below. Um, if I can find something similar, I will link it down below in the description box for you guys because I'm sure it's not something that is just to that store. Um, but I had never heard of it before, and I just thought that sitting on the side, rather than you know having the diffuser stick sticking up, beautiful flower is just better. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And this scent in particular, this black oud, it just smells stunning, honestly. Oh, to me, that smells like a really sexy man. So uh, hopefully my house is gonna smell like a sexy man, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's all the bits, yep, that I picked up in Midhurst. I may well find some more stuff in Storrington today, in which case I will go through that with you later as well. I'm gonna quickly clear this up and then we will get into the Dior unboxing. Okay, Dior. So, we have got the standard beautiful box that all Dior comes in. I mean, isn't it just gorgeous? And I love how they do the ribbon. It's so stunning. It's just gorgeous. Right, let's get into the box. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I nearly dropped it. So excited, okay. It's not every day you buy your first pair of Dior shoes, is it? So. We have got, I'm assuming, the authenticity there. Is it two dust bags? Two dust bags, one for each shoe. Love that. Okay. Now, I am actually blaming you guys entirely for this um, purchase, by the way. I put on my YouTube shorts two pictures, one of them a pair of Valentino um, loafers and one a pair of Dior loafers. I was unsure which ones to get because, well, the Valentino ones were, let's just say, more reasonably priced. And I also had a um, discount for Farfetch that I could have got £75 off them. Um, so, but you guys were like, no, the deal ones are much, much nicer. So um, I took your advice and I went for it. So it looks like they're in little dust bags here. Let me pop that down and get them out. Oh my goodness, I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, let me get the other one out and show you. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, but Dior can do no wrong. They can do no wrong. Okay, and coming a bit closer. Here are my loafers. Oh, they are so classic and so wonderful. I love that they're like a bit chunky through the heel and through the foot there as well. And oh my goodness, the Christian Dior plaque, the light shining on it. It's so, well, it's because it's so shiny and so beautiful, but it's so classic and so elegant. Oh my goodness. And the, the Christian Dior inside and oh, the star on the bottom. Oh, wow. These are beautiful. I'm a little bit gutted because, I mean, part of me was hoping that they would not be very nice, so I could send them back and get my money back, but they are so nice. Oh my goodness. They are beautiful. And I am, I'm, I'm making myself feel better by thinking, actually, we should be in Ibiza right now. We had booked an, a holiday to Ibiza. We ended up having to cancel it. I think I explained in a previous video about that, so I won't go into it now. So we saved money. Therefore, I'm allowed to treat myself to these, you know? make complete sense in my head. Okay, let's try them on. Okay, so this is not the outfit that I would necessarily wear them with, but, oh my goodness. I love them so much. They fit like a glove. How beautiful are those? If I can give you a little close-up of the Christian Dior plaque there. <gasps> So gorgeous. And actually, I sometimes think that these kind of shoes um, can make your feet look big. Let me just move my trousers out of the way. But um, I really don't think they do. I think, if anything, they make my feet look really nice and small and really cute. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I love them. So Jamie's just popped the lights on in here. He's just put the battery in. But uh, I don't know if you can really see it because it's obviously daylight. I'll try and show you it later on this evening because it's very nice very very sweet and I have also just popped the oil in and oh my goodness wow that already smells oh gosh I wasn't expecting it to take effect that quickly that already smells beautiful it's already 
Oh, it's like, it's like, like when you sniff a fresh flower. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So, so cool. And it's time to snip the tag off because these bad boys are staying in my wardrobe. I'm a little bit nervous. <sighs> Officially mine. <laughs> so exciting. Okay, right, I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna head out to Storrington. What you doing, Bibbo? Yeah, mind my shoesies. What are you doing? Mummy and Daddy are going out. I know, I'm sorry. You have just been out for a walk, so Daddy took you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so, this is my outfit of the day. I've just got an old, old, old black bodysuit from Topshop. It's so old. Um, Amazon skirt from last year. If it's still available, I'll try and link it down below because it was so cheap and it's so just elegant. I love it. And then my Dior shoes. Now, I love this as a look. I think the whole outfit looks absolutely fabulous, but I'm a little bit worried about wearing them for the first time, which is absolutely ridiculous, but part of me wants to save them for something really special. So I actually think that I am going to change them out and pop a pair of boots on instead. We got a present for you. <laughs> you got some doggy ice cream. Oh, oh. <laughs> moving it around the floor. Getting your nose in there, darling. A noise. Okay, we have just got back from Storrington. We had a really, really yummy lunch. Had a look around the shops, actually didn't pick up anything. There wasn't too much that, um, that I really loved, but we did go to the garden center. We didn't buy whatever this is, this is the box. They popped some baubles in because they have got all of their Christmas stuff out in the garden centers. And I want to add a little bit more green to the Christmas tree this year. Um, I think that would look really lovely. So um, we have got, some green and gold baubles with a really beautiful little dangling gem. So I've got four of those and then four, ooh, so delicate baubles, aren't they? Of these as well. These are just little gray and ones and it's got velvet and then kind of, well, glass between them. And I just thought that was really, really lovely as well. So I picked up four of each of those to go on the Christmas tree, just to add in a little bit of green elements. So we had um, kind of very neutral coloring and like a animal theme, so like a woodland animal theme last year, which I loved and I want to continue, but I want to add in a little bit more green onto the tree as well this year. So hence why we picked those up. And I think I'll get, you know, lucky we can get a box of like 12 standard kind of green baubles. I think I'll get those at some point as well. And then that will be it with the Christmas decorations. I don't really feel as though we need to get anything else new after that. So yeah. The rest of today, we're gonna, well, we're gonna go downstairs in a minute and we're gonna watch a couple of more episodes of the uh, Je Jeffrey Dahmer um, series on Netflix, the serial killer series, so, which actually we're, we're weirdly enjoying. It's very, very weird and it's quite graphic, but um, Jamie and I quite like kind of, uh, sort of series that get into the heads of, of uh, criminals and serial killers and stuff. Criminal Minds is, was one of our um, favourite TV series not too long ago that we watched. So um, yeah, I think we're going to quite enjoy it, but it is quite gruesome and it is a little bit more so than anything else that we've watched. So we're going to watch some this afternoon and then we're going to watch a film this evening so that it's not the last thing that we watch before we go to bed because otherwise, well, I would certainly not be sleeping anyway. Jamie would be fine, but uh, I certainly would be dreaming about it and I don't really want that. So um, yeah, so I'm going to pop some comfies on and we're going to do that. So I'm going to finish the video here because we're not going to be doing much else of interest. 
I hope you've enjoyed it. The lighting is really off in this clip again. I'm sorry, I look like I'm really bright white. I'm hoping that when I come to edit it, it's not quite as bright as it looks on the viewfinder here. But um, hey ho, that is what it is like this time of year. So as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. That would mean the absolute world. And I will catch you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.